Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 10 of the year 2022, appointing Dr. Tariq Mohammed Abdurrahman Al Sindi as Chief Executive Officer of the Education and Training Quality Authority for a four year term. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the competitions of His Majesty the King's Endurance Cup for the general and junior categories were launched, organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief at Bahrain International Endurance Village. On the occasion, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and honorary president of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the support of His Majesty the King to equestrian sports, noting the sports members' pride in this support. His Highness expressed pride in His Majesty's patronage of equestrian sports in the kingdom as it contributed in placing Bahrain on the world map and organizing major championships and contributed to making many of the achievements it recorded. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the diligent follow-up of His Majesty the King is a clear indication of the great support provided to all jockeys. He noted that His Majesty's directives are always a guide to continue moving forward for the prosperity of Bahrain's endurance sport, which is positively reflected on foreign participation. His Highness stressed that the brief headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa is keen on successfully organizing the festival. The Council of Representatives Speaker and Chairman of the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Division Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal participated in the 32nd session of the Arab Interparliamentary Union in Cairo. In her speech, Zainal affirmed that the kingdom based on the royal vision of His Majesty the King adopts an approach based on cooperation and solidarity within the framework of strengthening humanitarian fraternity to face all attempts of external interference. She noted the urgent need to enhance teamwork among Arab parliaments and develop joint Joint Arab Solidarity stressing that the expansion of Arab Solidarity frameworks is becoming increasingly important in light of what is witnessed by more than one Arab country of development related to its security, stability and unity. Zainal also stressed the need to strengthen Arab cooperation and solidarity in the face of terrorism aimed at disrupting Arab security, carried out by the Houthi militia as it has been directed its attacks towards Saudi Arabia and the UAE. She called to take a unified stance regarding Iran's blatant interference in more than one Arab country and its continuous attempts to undermine the security and stability of the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met with the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Stephen Bundy, on the background of the meeting of the Ambassador with a number of representatives of civil societies to discuss the internal affairs of Bahrain, where he informed him of the Kingdom's reservations about the meeting that took place and its implications, which are inconsistent with international laws and norms in this regard. Azayani discussed the diplomatic work regulations that regulate the work of diplomatic missions in countries in accordance with the Vienna Convention with the ambassador. The ambassador expressed full understanding of everything that was uh, published from various parties in Bahrain in this regard and the importance of relations between the two friendly countries. The minister explained that the ministry will coordinate with diplomatic missions accredited to the kingdom on the laws and procedures adopted regarding the responsibilities of diplomatic work in Bahrain in accordance with the Vienna Convention, which takes into account the sovereignty of states and non-interference in internal affairs in addition to Bahrain's laws. The Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of, Chairman of the Labor Market Authority, the Labor Market Authority, the LMRA's Board of Directors, Jamil Ahmedan, presented the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit to the frontline employees of the LMRA. This comes in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for all relative authorities to hand the merit to the frontline professionals and support staff in appreciation of their tireless efforts and honorable sacrifices in combating the COVID-19 and preserving public health. The minister congratulated the recipients of the merit, commending their great contribution from their different roles and positions to maintain the quality of services of the LMRA during difficult times. He added that the LMRA has consistently contributed to efforts to combat the pandemic since its onset, thanks to its team members' patriotism and sense of responsibility towards their community. 
The Spring of Culture returns for a 16th edition to stimulate the cultural movement in the Kingdom of Bahrain, reviving hopes for normalcy to return in the kingdom after two years and a halt of interperson activities due to the pandemic COVID-19. Held in the presence of Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, a press conference announced the Spring of Culture festivals, activities and programs in cooperation with Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research and Aldana Amphitheater in coordination with Arriwaq Art Space and Al Barra Art Space. This long-awaited uh, program offers audiences a wide range of artistic and musical activities, lectures, as well as local and international exhibitions that suit the varied tastes and age groups in Bahrain, extending the bridge of culture and human communication between the kingdom with the world. On this occasion, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa said that the Spring of Culture Festivals has reaffirmed the importance of cultural work, adding that the 16th edition of the festival will present its patrons, citizens, residents, visitors, and various segments of the society a diversified program celebrating literature, music, art, design, and theater. Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, is continuing its registration for the third batch volunteering for civilians to join the reserve force. For relatives of workers and retirees in the BDF and the National Guard military and civilians, the reserve force will later take part in a course uh, which has been uh, well prepared with well equipped classrooms, teaching aids and best trainers to achieve these set goals. It includes theoretical and practical military studies to qualify the civilian volunteers in the best possible way. The reserve force law promulgated in 1987 has regulated all rights and duties of the reserve force as an auxiliary force for the BDF as well as the benefits and entitlements. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, announced that it will launch a series of regional and international tourism and entertainment events and activities in its drive to attract more tourists and offer more opportunities to citizens and residents. The events will be held throughout the year and will contribute to achieving the tourism strategy's objectives and to support event companies and various tourism facilities. BTEA Chief Executive Officer Nasser Qaadi has said that they reflect the authority's keenness to innovate while revitalizing the tourism sector in Bahrain, boosting its competitiveness, increasing its contribution to the GDP, and creating fine job opportunities for citizens. He added that the authority will be enhancing the ambitious programs according to developments. He also added that in March, BTEA will launch a wide campaign in the regional and international markets to promote all activities scheduled in 2022, including the activities held by the authority and those held by partners in the tourism sector. In line with the continuous digital transformation in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs announced the launch of the Moaid app for booking appointments. The app will replace the current appointment booking system and can be downloaded via Play Store or App store to book appointments after entering personal details and choosing the service center, type of the service, date and time. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,229,142 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,200,634 had taken the second, and 957,379 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 46,328 with 8,457 recoveries, 4,288 registered new cases and three deaths. There are 85 active cases receiving treatment and 21 patients in critical condition. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.